Hi there everyone, thanks for tuning in for this extra little video here. This one is going to be about converting forms of complex numbers. And in this one, uh, all I'm going to do is, is concentrate on a couple of examples that show how to convert a polar number into rectangular form. All right. So there's our polar form of a number, and you might want to re-look at another video that we did about introducing this form, if you're not sure what that means. But there's our polar form, r times the cosine of theta plus i sine theta, and we're going to convert that into the rectangular form, which is maybe more familiar, a plus bi. All right? So let's try this example here. Uh, we're going to let our number z uh, equal 4 times cosine pi plus i sine pi. That's our rectangular number, and we're going to change that into a plus bi form. Well, if you remember from our uh, talk today, um, or in class somewhere, the, uh, the a value of our number is r times the cosine of theta, and b is the r times the sine of theta. So I'm literally just, it's almost like I'm doing the distributive property there. Um, uh, with the 4, 4 on the outside of the parentheses there, multiplying all the stuff inside. And that's really is exactly what I'm going to do. A is going to be 4 times the cosine of pi, and B is 4 times the sine of pi, and I just kind of gets carried along for the ride there. It doesn't really figure into any of these calculations. It just kind of goes along um, and sits there <laughs> in the problem, okay? Um, so uh, that's pretty easy to do in this case, isn't it? Because the cosine of pi is just negative 1, and the sine of pi is 0. So a equals 4 times negative 1, or negative 4, and b equals 0. So our number z, our original uh, complex number z, is actually just negative 4. Or you could think of it, you could even write it this way, as negative 4 plus 0i, but no one ever really does. Um, just wanted to think about this kind of a, in a visual. I think this is really important to make this visual connection the graphic kind of connection, a representation of these numbers, as, along with the algebraic. And that number, if you plotted it out on uh, this imaginary or complex plane that we talk about, where the horizontal axis is A and the vertical axis is the I, or the imaginary axis, that number, uh, being negative 4 for A, um, would, would be over there. And it is four units away from the pole. So that clearly means then, in terms of R, our modulus, or the distance away from the pole, it's four units away from the pole. All right? Um, it has no vertical measurement. It's the zero times I. So it's right on the axis there. And, and in terms of theta, that angle is pi on the, on the unit circle. And our standard position angle there, um, that's, that's pi, or 180 degrees. So... Hopefully that sort of brings to connection the, the two, all these three things, really, this polar form, this rectangular form, and the actual graphing of where, those, where, those, where that number is. It's two different ways to say the same thing, and there's a picture of it. Okay? Let's try this one more time. Um, so this time I'm going to use uh, the number 16 times cosine of 4 pi thirds plus i sine 4 pi thirds. The angle is always the same. I think I've said this before, but make sure that you... That's not an issue. Anyway, let's think about where that point would lie, like we did for that uh, last number here. Um, that's our angle of 4 pi thirds is down there in quadrant 3, and our modulus, as we call it, or the r value, is 16. So it's down there in quadrant 3, which means if we're trying to convert that to a and b form, a plus bi form, it looks like a and b are both going to be negative numbers, okay? But that's what I'm looking for there, is that a and the b uh, for that point, okay? Well, let's work it out. Uh, a is uh, r times cosine of theta, so that would be 16 times cosine of 4 pi thirds. That's uh, 16 times negative 1 half, or negative 8, um, B is uh, the 16 times the sine of 4 pi thirds, which works out to negative 8 root 3. Well, yeah, there you go. A and B are both negative, and so our number Z is just negative 8 minus 8i root 3. And there it is. There's A plus BI form. Okay, so that's a pretty easy thing. The next one we take a look at will go the other way, taking uh, a rectangular number and putting it into polar form, which is a little bit trickier sometimes. But anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Enjoy uh, your, your math practice and be well.